Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And if you've not subscribed already but enjoy the content, then please kindly do so. Okay. So, if you haven't checked out the live show yet, go ahead, check it out. Boxing Talk with Rafi81. We touch on some of these topics. But I didn't touch on this one specifically. So, let's go. Okay. So, the trilogy, as we all know by now, or most of us, most of you will know by now, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder is confirmed for February 22nd year 2020 and uh one of the things which emerged i come on I commented on this a long time ago when bob aram first released released the news one of the things that was confirmed was that there will be a third fight after the second fight that's contractual but there's a, a little caveat in the contract and that's what we're for the third fight and that's what we are looking at today okay so the trilogy was thought to be set in stone although warren has since revealed that only the loser can seek to make the trilogy happen okay so in a nutshell whoever wins is at the mercy of the other if there's another draw, then obviously we get Wilder versus Fury 3. But should Wilder win, the loser, Fury, can bring the American to the UK shores. I repeat, if Wilder wins, Fury can bring the American to the UK for a third meeting if fury wins deontay wilder can trigger the rematch so to be clear the only party that can trigger the trilogy the third fight is the loser that is the loser of the second fight is the only part you can trigger the third fight with the stipulation being that the loser receives less than 50%, specifically 40%. So, like I said, just said, a split of 60-40 for the third fight is in place. So, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? There's also a slight chance, the possibility, that the loser between Wilder Fury 2 might get a contract, might be able to get a contract, might be able to get a deal with Anthony Joshua. If the loser is Tyson Fury, then that becomes highly likely. So it is thought. That's one school of thinking. However, why would Anthony Joshua, would it profit Anthony Joshua to fight the loser of Wilder Fury 2 coming straight off a loss? I think not. Why do you want to face the loser? And the other guy, the winner, say, oh, you're, you're fighting my leftovers. That's if Fury, that's if Wilder wins, of course. So the question is, does it profit Anthony Joshua to immediately fight the loser of Wilder Fury 2? I have my doubts. I have serious doubts. I think if the loser of Wilder Fury 2 goes on in his next fight to claim a top five scalp, then yes, that would be feasible. 
and just notice Tyson Fury's fingers are bent. We've noticed we've had bent legs. I had no idea that we were dealing with some bent fingers here. But anyway, that is the story. That is the story. The loser of Wilder Fury 2 is the only one who can trigger the trilogy, the third fight. That's point one. Point two, does it profit Anthony Joshua to go ahead and fight the loser immediately of Wilder Fury 2? I say no. I say no. The loser to get about with Anthony Joshua would need to claim a top five scalp convincingly. You need to win, preferably convincingly. But I don't think the loser goes straight to Anthony Joshua. I don't, not sure that's a good look. So what say you? It's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the combat radio, it's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comment, it's the shares. And it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. What say you? Have your say. And don't forget about the live shows Monday, Wednesday, 10 p.m. UK time. Sometimes you get a bonus Friday show, same time, 10 p.m. UK. What say you? Have your say. Mr. Raphael Dawkins, it's the Combat Radio, and I'm out.